everyone, welcome back to the channel. We, we made it to the weekend, so we're trying to have some little, little relaxed time down at the, at the beach. But in the meantime, we still got work to do. If you're new to this channel, my name is Joshua Hines, and this is Construction Junction. All right, so in uh, today's video, we're, we're gonna be finishing up our outdoor kitchen pr project. I hope you guys have enjoyed the uh, progress and as we've, we've gone along in the different steps. I, I hope that, that you've learned something uh, from the process. And, and, and keep in mind, um, these jobs, anything is possible. So you're only limited by your imagination. Uh, we literally can create anything that your imagination can imagine. So, you know, be creative. That, that's our motto, that's what we're all about, um, is it, to be creative. You know, write some things down, jot some ideas down, and you have people out there who can create something and bring it all the way from your, your, your mind all the way to life, and, and that's what we enjoy doing. These are the best jobs, really. Uh, uh, today, I, I have my son with me. Uh, you know, like I said, it, it is the weekend, so we're sort of enjoying a little a little basketball earlier. I had to hoop him up a little bit earlier. No. I, I had to hoop him up a little bit earlier. Um, but uh, we're not gonna talk about who won and who lost. But what I'm gonna say is, uh, we do have a, another basketball challenge co uh, coming up uh, very soon. So I uh, keep on, on, on the lookout for that. But, but back to this project. Um, like I said in the last video, this is a very special project for us. Um, and not often do, do you come across projects that are just so unique and, and so different um, that you really enjoy it in the whole process. Now, the only downer to, to, this, to, to this project was the fact that it was like 100 degrees each day. Um, and we're trying to, to finish this project before a big 4th of July party. So we had to put in all the hours that we could to, to complete it. Um, and I'm glad to say that, that, that we did make it uh, to the 4th of July deadline. And hopefully the, our client ha had a great time, uh, you know, at their party. And, and hopefully everybody enjoyed the uh, new outdoor kitchen. Because, you know, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. You know, you, you want to create these jobs that, that people can enjoy uh, for years to come. And I think this is definitely one, one of those projects. Um, so, for all that have been following us throughout this process, thanks for, for watching, thanks for su supporting the channel. And like I've always said, so supporting the channel is, is as simply as just watching this video. And we appreciate it, you know, uh, greatly because, you know, that's the purpose of, of us, you know, re recording these, these projects and, and uh, coming up with, with new ideas. Thanks to all that's in, in the comments giving us even more ideas. On, our, on future projects or, or different ways that we, we can do things. Um, also, uh, you, you can follow us on, on Facebook and also on Instagram. Uh, our, our handle is Springdale Construction on both of those. Um, and, and, and YouTube is Construction Junction. So, you know, stay along with us in, in all, all three because uh, we, we do get a chance to drop some things on Facebook, some snippets of jobs as we're doing it. And the, and the YouTube motto is, you know, once we finish a project, then we'll start dropping videos. So if you want to get the content even sooner than, than, than what you see it here, uh, ch check us out on Instagram and, and on Facebook. And, you know, you'll see the up-to-date content. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get it into this video. Um, you know, we, we're, we're going to start uh, our pickup, actually, where, where we left off in, in the last video which is uh, you know, completing the uh, stone all the way around. Um, and as uh, me and Jazz are, are working on the stone, we also have other subcontractors working as well. Uh, like I said, we had a deadline, so we have to complete this in a certain amount of time. So we all have to be, be there working together to, to complete this project. So in this video, you'll see the uh, electrician you know, working, running his wires and his outlets, switches. Um, things of that nature. Um, also, you, you're going to see the uh, countertop guys come in and you know install the uh, countertops. Uh, so we're going to talk for further about it, but let's get into this video. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Let's get into it. Here we go. All right, 
right, so as you can see, uh, we're just getting set up. Um, we, we did co complete the uh, top portion, the uh, pergola portion of, of this. Uh, it, you can see it's still raw. The uh, wood is still raw, so it still has to be stained. So we're uh, a little early on in, in the project right now. And what I'm doing right now is that I'm working on the grill area. Now, the, uh, ma the manufacturer uh, specifications on this dictated that we could not um, have the gas tank directly underneath of the grill itself, uh, which we, we normally would, would have it. So uh, we're sort of setting up that area now, uh, adding framing to either side of the grill and then closing it off with the hardy board. Uh, so we you know, got all that laid out and ready to go. And now I just laid out the area where we're gonna cut out the storage um, uh, containers or areas. One, one side of the storage is gonna have two drawers and the other side is just gonna be like a, a double door um, that you'll be able to open and store items inside. And then one side of that double door section is where we're gonna store the gas tank. So, so just keep that in mind. And you can see we, we have outlets uh, placed, you know, all the way around. So anywhere that you may have an appliance in the future, you're gonna have access to an outlet there. Almost like how we would lay out a, a kitchen, you know, other than we don't have any walls that we're working with. So we're using the lower walls as where we're putting our outlets. Uh, as, because that's gonna be protected uh, from the weather, uh, but we're still using outdoor receptacles and switches. And we were just trying to knock out as much of this uh, rock, uh, you know, the ledger board stone as possible uh, as the electrician is running all, all of his items in there. Uh, so this was a huge job when it comes to uh, the, the stonework. Uh, and, and the stonework, you know, it, it's really detailed work. So we try to, to, to do it ourselves. That, we, that way we, we know, you know, it's gonna come out perfect every time uh, we, we've been laying hard surfaces you know if it comes to tile stone uh, pavers for such a long time that we have a good idea of, of, of what you know we're looking for you know you can really get off track if you start wrong laying stone and uh, if you're not level or if you're not square or, or things like that it can really hurt the uh, final product of the project so we tend to, to do those items ourselves and, and, and like I said we, we have those head wraps on because it is extremely hot uh, th this week um, that, that we were trying to complete this job extremely hot so we had to give it all that we had to get this job done and I'm glad to say that that we did it and we made it happen um, and you'll see the way it turned out at the end. And, and it's, it's pretty cool because the uh, neighbors who, who were watching us install this outdoor kitchen the entire time, uh, they were asking us, uh, so what are you gonna do with the back? Because most people would think, you know, I can't see it, so let's put a, a, a cheaper, you know, product around the back, but nope. Um, you know, we, we decided to, to wrap the entire thing in that ledger panel stone, which looks beautiful. Um, and it's going to stand the uh, test of time. So even the back of the unit, the neighbors are going to have a great view of this out outdoor kitchen, even though uh, they're sort of blocked off from it uh, uh, a, a little bit. And that just comes down to the detail, you know. You have to uh, give your best effort on, on the job completely. Now we're getting into the uh, countertop installation. And this is a really detailed thing because, as you can see, a lot of this is our uh, custom cuts so you know we're cutting this in place as we're there now these tops have already been uh, fabricated uh, to a certain extent in, in in the shop but you know when it comes to, to wrapping around these six by six posts they're all a different size so you have to do it um you know in place and so we have the guys to uh, get it done uh, what's interesting uh, about this uh, countertop is that we, uh, for, for this outdoor kitchen, you know, we, we used a, a, a leathered finish. So this is a granite, uh, which is gonna work well outside because, you know, granite is a stone and it, it being a stone, it, it's gonna last the, the, the test of time through the rain, through the snow, through all of that. Now, we chose to use a, a leathered finish stone and this is a, a, a new finish that they're doing now on, on granites and it's specifically made for outdoor surfaces. 
because what we found o over the years is that if you put a, a polished uh, granite or a polished quartz or, or something like that on an outdoor kitchen, um, the sun will just beat it down and that polished finish will, will not last a long period of time. So what it is is that it's like a, a mix between like a satin and, and a matte. So it has some sort of polish on it, but it, it, it's not a whole lot of polish. And so it's more of its natural state, like in nature. So with that being said, uh, it's gonna stand up the long test of time, similar to the uh, ledger panels that, that we have on the wall itself. And as you can see, we, we just uh, put in the, uh, the, the refrigerators. This outdoor kitchen is gonna have a, a dual re refrigerator setup. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Out the runway, different incomes not one way. Living life on a one way. I knew this would happen someday. You can ask my day one day. Cloudy days turn to sun rays. Only way to way up way. Know my way, know my feng shui. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, get it that I'm never going up, 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 get it that I'm never going Different summer, different car keys. I'm the life of the party. Might buy a bike like a Harley. Totally do so gnarly. God got me, can't harm me. I got armor and an army. Battle scars, battle smartly. Smartly, just forever like a Sharpie. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. Up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Down like some dominoes Blues and greens and pinks I got a lot of those Yeah, you know Talking slime I can't relate to snakes I see a lot of foes Eeny, eeny, meeny, meeny, miny, mo Head to toe Said you got your own style That's just slang for you Ain't got it though Talking like you got it That's a problem I might let them know Feed you like I'm else It's on my look, 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 look Let it go Eeny, eeny, meeny, meeny, miny, mo Head to toe Said you got your own style That's just slang for you Ain't got it though Talking like you got it That's a problem I might let them know you like a mouse or something, look, 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 let it go Eeny, eeny, meeny, meeny, money more Ten toes, keep it thorough, stepping out for sure though Time to let them know Rubber band bands, I got a lot of dough Oh, for sure, working around the clock Sometimes I need me more than 24 Eeny, eeny, meeny, meeny, money more Head to toe, said you got 
with your own style, I should slay for you, ain't got it though Talking like you got it, that's a problem, I might let them know Squeeze you like I'm else, it's on my look, 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 let it go Eeny, eeny, meeny, meeny, miny, mo, head to toe Said you got your own style, I should slay for you, ain't got it though Talking like you got it, that's a problem, I might let them know Squeeze you like I'm else, it's on my look, 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 let it go Kid for my wins, I need my hands This life is real, don't they pretend Came off the bench, I get it in I get it in, I get it in Kid for my wins, I need my hands This life is real, don't they pretend Came off the bench, I get it in I get it in, I get it in I'm on my job, I get it done, but you should know that Shine like a son of 101, you should know that I get the front and in the back, you should know that No need to stun, it's never cap, you should know that All I know, 10 toes, never fold Bane road, on the go Ice hole, ice hole, ice hole Came for my wins, I need my hands This life is real, if they pretend Came off the bench, I get it in So I hit them on the FaceTime I need it all for them so no I cannot waste time Facing these oceans, feel the water on my waistline We trust the process and I only know it takes time You can get it, got no worries, I'm gon' make mine Going global, I'ma get it out the state lines Paying taxes at a mortar, which you may not Different bracket, eating off a different plate now Get for my wins, I need my hands This life is real, if they pretend Came off the bench, I get it in Around my way, ay, what you saying? Where you at now? I swear that once I leave my city, never coming back down. Way from pushing tapes to glowing up around the map now. Real hot summer, keep my cool, I never act out. Ay, yes, indeed. Recognize what you want, may not be what you need. Won't take control of me, but I got mouths to feed. Hustle smart, nah, hard to still get it by any means. Please. Never not, nah, never under ya, never ever, I'm forever on uh, Check my reppin' on, uh, check my repertoire, don't check me not nah, Message checks involved, I've been feeling like I'm next to God So next to God, next to next to God Never not, nah, never under ya, never ever, I'm forever on uh, Check my reppin' on, uh, check my repertoire, don't check me not nah, Message checks involved, I've been feeling like I'm next to God So next to God, next to next to God Had to get up, had to get it by myself Bad decisions had me living down in hell Paranoia, so I keep it by my belt Losing sleep, I know this lean won't be no help 
Nah, it's no contest, S on my chest Whole squad gon' flex, yeah, you know that set They had mentioned competition, I'm here like, what's that? Heard your last two tracks, you're not eating all that Pockets swole on me, since 15, haters been tryna roll on me Move smarter, no drama, you know, homie Whole team round me, ready on go, homie Yeah, you know, homie, ayy Never under y'all, never ever on, forever on Check my repertoire, check my repertoire, don't check me now Let's just check some love, I've been feeling like I'm next to God So next to God, next to next to God Never not, never under y'all, never ever on, forever on Check my repertoire, check my repertoire, don't check me now Let's just check some love, I've been feeling like I'm next to God So next to God, next to next to God everyone so we finally made it to the end of this project uh, we got it finished up just before the 4th of July holiday just in time for the holiday cookout uh, but wanted to walk you through the job and, and show you some of the things that that, that was done and, and what we did here uh, flip around real quick so this is the outdoor project otherwise known as the tiki bar coined by the electrician on the project um, and so where we started was when we first started here it was a trampoline in this area you, you can see the pool area here and they have stamped concrete that was existing and it was our task to match something up to the existing stamped concrete that would work uh, color wise and also be functional and you know have this kitchen exactly the way you want it and have all the extras that, that the client you know wanted along the way so we had to build up the uh, ground here and we used a retaining wall and this product is called uh, Nicolot uh, that's what we use there's the same color on the on the wall the retaining wall here that runs all the way around and the same color that's on, on the pavers themselves so you can see we we have our gray uh, border tile which helps to tie our coloring into the concrete color of the stamp concrete that was existing uh, and we have a, a random pattern here that has some brown and some gray in it to pull it all all together so we had to build th this section first uh, and, and then we came in and we framed this section uh, put hardy board all over it to uh, waterproof it and then added this stacked stone uh, look uh, ledger panels and I believe this color is called golden white it's a product that, that we sell uh, that that we distribute so it, it, it's one of our in-house colors and it looks great in conjunction with the uh, paver color and also the existing stamp concrete so it all pulls itself together nicely and this 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 ledger board sort of stone just gives it a real grand feel a, a real nice look you know really upgraded now we could have used the uh, retaining wall as the walls of, of the kitchen as well but we, we wanted to to give it a bigger upgraded look you know a much much more luxurious look and I think we achieved it. So from that point on, you know, we, we got our framing in, we got our hardy board in, and then we started to put in all, all of the uh, ledger panels. Now, at the same time, we had to frame up our pergola area, and you can see the design that we chose to go with um, at the top to, to finish off the, the boards at the end. So it's the same design on the ends in both directions. So the, the support 
has the same design on as the ones on top. And, and we got that from an inspiration pick that the client had when we started this, this job. So a lot of the times we, we have the ability to create anything. So if a client sees something that they like uh, on the internet or whatever, then we can mimic that and create something unique for each individual client. And this is what, what they saw. So we have our, our posts, which are pressure treated, uh, built into the framing. And we've stained it a uh, color called teak. I believe this is a Olympic stain, but it turned out really nice. It was a, a water-based stain uh, and it took really well. A lot of times you gotta take a lot more steps when it comes to staining so that you don't see your brush marks, but this new technology that they're using uh, in stain, the uh, waterproof, I mean the uh, water-based stains uh, really gave a nice look. So that, that really darkened up the, uh, the structure, which looks great with the colors that we have. Uh, so just, you know, after we got all of that in, we got that stained, then it's just a matter of putting in the fixtures. And so we started with this 32 inch Sizzler uh, grill, which, you know, it's a very nice grill. It's all stainless steel on the inside. This is a gas grill. Uh, so, you know, it's perfect. This is exactly what, what the client requested after doing his research on, on what he, he would like here. And, and there we go. We have it fit in, in nicely. And so with, with these uh, outdoor kitchens, you know, you, you got to be really cautious because we saw a lot of pictures where they had an access door right underneath of here to put your, uh, you, you know, your gas cylinder in there so that you can turn it on and off as you use the the gas grill but in the instructions of this grill it, it mandated that you could not put the gas there just because of heat purposes so we had to get a 12 foot long gas line and get that extended over around into here so that so that the propane tank is not directly in underneath of the grill because this grill get, gets hot you know so this one is made to where it gets hot enough to where you can't have that propane tank right underneath. So you really gotta follow the instructions uh, that they give you uh, all along the way. Even though if you put grills in or you did anything a hundred times, you still wanna read those instructions each time so that you know what you can do and what you can't do. And so in this particular one, we have the gas grill located inside of here. So you can easily turn it on and off. And this is vented. Um, it's vented un underneath of the grill here, which you can't see, and it's also vented uh, around the refrigerators. So air, air can flow freely in there, so you don't have any problems with this grill at all, and no overheating. So speaking of the refrigerators, we have two um, refrigerators here, uh, you know, split evenly in this space, recessed in the wall. So that's, that turns out nice. This is another thing that the client re requested. Uh, along with that, we have a one double door storage area here, and we have one with a drawer. So this is a, a two drawer setup with one door on the side, and then that's just a, a double door. All stainless steel, so everything is matching. So basically that's what all the appliances that were re requested by the, the, uh, the uh, customer. And one of the big items that is really nice is we're able to add a TV here. So in this wall behind here, uh, we had to run electric and we ran, ran cable to, to this location set up primarily for, for, for the outside, right? So all of your outlets gotta be extra your outlets, uh, which you can see we have outlets running randomly around inside here for, for uses. So you can get your blenders out here. You can get any power appliance out here and, and work. I mean, you can actually cook out here and, and bring stuff in and out into this space. So it is a truly, you know, outdoor kitchen. Uh, but back to the TV, you know, we got a nice 58 inch uh, TV right here. Um, and I mean, looks great. So this TV is not an exterior TV. So this is one that 
needs to come on and off as you use it. So it's not made for uh, a uh, water area. They do make them for, for water areas where, you know, one that could stay outside primarily all year round, really. But uh, then you're getting into, you know, a TV that it's like a $10,000 TV. So uh, the, the client chose against that. Uh, he said he can easily take it on and off the mount uh, when he needed it. And you don't need it out here when you're not out here. So that's, that's how they chose to uh, work that out. And when you do it this route, you get a much better looking TV. Those exterior t TVs um, don't have the greatest picture on them. So, you know, I, I would have done it the same way that, that he decided to do it. You know, so that, that was a good choice from, from my perspective. Uh, now looking at the countertop. So we, we chose a brown pearl. Now what's interesting about this, let me see if I can get it on camera. This countertop has a leathered finish. So it's not your typical polish uh, that, that you would see on a, a granite top. Because the problem with outdoor kitchens and outdoor spaces is that this is gonna take a lot of heat. It's gonna take, you know, snow, you know, anything, it's, it's out in the weather. So the problem with having a polished top, a shiny top, in the weather is that the sun is gonna bake that, that polish and it's gonna be super dull. So, so what we do to, to counteract that is that we use um, granites that are more in its natural form, uh, something that's made to be outside. And so this leather finish has a slight shine to it, but it is more in, in, its, in its natural form. So it's not over processed. So it's not gonna change as quickly or as often um, with the heat cooking it and, and baking it. So that's just one, one good tip from some, for anybody that uh, want to decide to do something like this. You know, don't think that you'll be able to use a quartz or a shiny granite that has been polished and it's going to stay like that for a long period of time. It's going to get tarnished uh, with the sun. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Now, one thing that we can't see right now that is a really nice feature on here is the under cabinet lights. So we have lights ran all the way around underneath the, the countertop, all the way around here, all the way up top, and goes all the way around on the other side of the bar. So, and, and that gives a nice effect at night. Uh, and, and, and we'll take some uh, night shots so that you can see that, but that is a really cool feature uh, with this this setup and the client decided to, to hang some uh, some bulbs up on top just to give a, another nice look you know having flexibility is is cool when, when, when you're making something custom you know you can really you know make a few small changes and get the look that you're that you're looking for and so what we did we ran an outlet up here it's not hidden but you know you really got to look for it to see it He's sort of hidden but behind that board there we ran an exterior outlet up there so that he can plug in his bulb system uh, and we ran it to a switch which is right here so you actually turn those bulbs on and off right here on with an exterior switch and you can see i don't know if you can see it or not but they're turning it on and off so at night you know it, it's going to give a, a nice effect you know so that's another nice custom thing uh, that we had and you know speaking of the bar this is called the tiki bar so uh, let's let's talk about how, how we created this this step up bar section so the idea was to have an entertainment area here as the cook is cooking you know you can talk back and forth you can watch a you know football game or whatever you can put a couple bar chairs here so it, it'll create you know more people to, to this area as the cooking is happening um, so you you know and you know you got 10 foot worth of bar chairs that you can put here and, and entertain right here you can eat right here so it just creates another area um, for, for entertainers so you know these are all the things that that's special and, and unique about this 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 particular outdoor kitchen you know again if you like it let, let us know in the comments below uh, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share if you haven't already. If you haven't already, and, and subscribe. You know, subscribe to the channel because we're gonna have more and more projects like this that are unique, that are special. 
uh, that you can get ideas from, share them to your friends so that, you know, we can push what we're doing further and further. And I appreciate you watching.